Bryan County is one of the jewels of the coast of Georgia. And of course, we've been through a big recession, uh, but we're coming out of it and coming out of it very quickly. Electricity, power is necessary to fuel that growth. It's important that we have a reliable source of energy and a reliable source of power. What we have going on here today is a very exciting project for both Georgia Transmission Corporation and Coastal Electric. This project is going to connect two radial systems, one in Bryan County and one in Liberty County, together by going across a natural barrier. This project has been very unique for us because we're building in the salt marsh, which is a very protected area. Well, obviously you can't be anything but impressed with the way that they are uh, putting these transmission lines in, protecting the marsh, which is uh, very important to the coast of Georgia. We were able to utilize the existing infrastructure. We had a lot of cooperation from Georgia Department of Transportation to be able to do that. Now, the other thing that we're doing is we're not getting uh, equipment into the salt marsh other than the low ground pressure track machine, which does not disrupt the marsh, does not kill the vegetation. This is my crew. These boys over here been working hard. You should check these boys out over here. Look at them, how they've been working. I have good men working for me. Uh, I've got a good foreman, probably some of the best in the industry. I've got some of the best men in the industry. The exciting thing that's going on here today is that we're using an air crane helicopter. Due to environmental concerns, one of the reasons that we have the sky crane is because we're not allowed to make it except so many passes in the marsh. This is a Sikorsky S64 air crane. You can hear the helicopter behind me. Right now we're just setting the case on. We're going to drive it in with a fiber hammer. Weighs about 12,000 pounds. Helicopter's capacity is about 25,000. Question. Uh, this tremendous Sikorsky helicopter lifting these 7,000, 20,000 pound objects uh, to keep it off the marsh and keep the beauty of the marsh intact. That's why it's so vitally important and this is why this is such a great project. I don't think you could find better people to work with than Coastal Electric, Georgia Transmission Company, and our company. We worked really close together, we planned together, we talked to about things, we price things together, and, and I think at the end of the day, everybody's gonna be real proud of the job we've done. Coastal Electric has been a great partner on this project. They are so well regarded in the community that it's been a, to our advantage to, to be here with them. People don't realize what kind of impact this job has put on the community. We dump a lot of the money that's made that these guys make back into this community. Motel rooms, fuel, you know, RV sites, parts, supplies. I mean, the money that the community and, and Coastal and GTC is paying for this 
is being spent right back into this community. This project, it means so much to this community for the power reliability, but also what the steps we have gone to make sure we protect the environment in the marsh. I mean, it's not every day that you fly the equipment in. There's minimal impact. I mean, it's just this little sliver right over here of a cut in order to get so that we can get the men in and out and everything else is being flown in and we couldn't do it without the help of Georgia DOT, the Sheriff's Office, DNR, Georgia Transmission, my Coastal Electric employees, my directors, just the general support of the community coming together to help us improve our area where we live and work and at the same time protecting this beautiful marsh that we have here. Which after the sea comes up and goes back down the tides, I don't think you'll even notice we were ever here.